everything that I ain't gon' feel it. Yeah. I ain't just here right in my seat. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this insane AI video effect inside of After Effects. So what you want to do is drag this work area to where you want your animation to start at or the AI effect to start at I guess. So you just want to drag this to like a few seconds of part of your video here. So the uh, effect is going to happen right here during this area. And the reason why I'm like doing this, like dragging these uh, work area points around is because we're going to have to render this out so we can export it and then bring it into this uh, website. So once you have your section of the video trimmed down, you just want to go over to file and export. And I'm just going to add this to Adobe Media Encoder. You can render inside of After Effects if you want, but I just like using Media Encoder. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that. So once you have your video rendered, you just want to go over to this website called Runway and I'll have it linked down in the description below so you can go ahead and sign up there and it's free so you don't have to pay for anything when you use it but you're going to have like a certain like trial and like how many times you can actually upload videos but it should work for now and if you guys want to you can obviously just upgrade but for this video you don't need to upgrade or anything so what i'm going to do is just drag that video that i just exported into this little folder here and this is where we can have a lot of fun with uh, creating different styles and pretty much customize it to whatever you guys want it to be um right here we have the image prompt so we can upload an image and have have it kind of transform into that image or we have presets that we can use tons of good presets that you can choose from here um and then there's the text prompts which is super fun to mess with and that's probably what i'm going to be using for this tutorial just because it's a lot of fun and super customizable so what i'm going to say for this text prompt is maybe like audi r8 with lightning in the background and then i'm just going to go to the style strength and bring this down to like 20 percent you can have it like super high or whatever but i've just been using 20 percent or 25 5% around there and I just feel like that's been working pretty well for me and also a super cool thing that this uh, website includes is you can preview your styles before you actually generate it so I'm going to hit preview styles and it's basically just going to create four different styles that we can choose from and we don't have to use these if we want but as you can see these look super cool right here I think this left one looks the best the left and the right one looks super good but I might just go with this left one right here so you just want to go ahead and hit generate right there and it's just going to take a few seconds depending on how long that clip is but I as you can see mine is only one second long so it shouldn't take too long i'll see you guys once that's done processing all right so the video just finished processing so we can go ahead and play this back now so as you can see i basically just took this preview image that i liked and made it into this whole video here so that looks super cool but if you don't really like how it looked and you want to change it you can obviously just go back here and mess the prompt again like we can create something totally different so i'm going to try a text prompt that says cartoon comic book style I'm not totally sure how this is going to turn out but i'm just going to hit preview styles and see what happens okay interesting so we got some different results here um i'm kind of messing with this one right here this third one is kind of cool so i'm just going to go ahead and hit generate here and let's just see how that turns out all right so this video just finished rendering so let's go ahead and play this back and oh, wow that's actually super crazy obviously it kind of glitches here but that's honestly pretty good for using that text prompt that i use right there now obviously the quality isn't going to look too good just because we don't have the paid version so if you guys are looking for a higher quality video then you're going to have to upgrade but for this i think it's going to work so we're just going to go ahead and download this first one in the top right you can just hit download right there and i'm just going to bring this into my timeline and we're going to line the start of this clip here with the start of our work area and we can just expand this work area now because we're not going to be rendering just that section of that video and as you can see it's scaled down like crazy so we're gonna have to scale this all the way back up it fits the frame so 250 percent seems to be what works for this 1080p comp so now when i play that back it should just transition to that clip there we go that looks super cool something that you definitely couldn't create just inside of after effects it would take lots of time now to kind of mix it up i'm just going to go ahead and download the second video that i rendered out and we're just going to place this on top of our other one here scale it up to 250 percent and i'm just going to have it start halfway through our first uh, AI video so it's gonna play back to back like that now in the intro of this video I added some shakes onto these clips so I'm just gonna go ahead and pre-compose these and then just bring on my presets that I have I'm gonna go ahead and try applying this shake zoom out right here so with the cursor at the start of our clip here you just want to drag that effect on and then make sure motion blur is on now let's see what that looks like 
That's actually pretty cool. I actually really like how that looks. If you guys do want to go ahead and use these shakes, I'll have them linked down in the description below so you guys can go ahead and check those out if you want. But let's just go ahead and use one more shake for the second clip here. So I'm going to try maybe the shake Y and rotate. Let's just go ahead and bring this onto our clip. And there we go. That's pretty much it for this AI video effect. I mean, you're going to add some sound effects and maybe some other like color adjustments if you want. But that's pretty much the basics of this effect. Obviously, you can go ahead and mess with that website a lot more and mess with different prompts and image prompts. But for this video i wanted to keep it pretty simple and easy for you guys to understand but if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out